Alrighty, what's up guys? Cajun here, and before this video starts, first of all, go follow my Twitter, go join my Discord, all all, all the things. Also, uh, for those of you that were expecting maybe a Critical Ops gameplay uh, with commentary, um, it still isn't working too hot, uh, so uh, I'm, I've been playing Vainglory a lot more. So we're probably going to get that, like, for commentary stuff, uh, since Vainglory is more of a, a long-term game. Uh, and maybe something like Brawl Stars for, for uh, sh you know, short videos and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but let me know if you guys enjoy the commentary and gameplay. Um, and without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Also, I forgot to mention that some of you might not like this topic because it has to do with sports and stuff. Um... Sorry, uh, I'll try and look for something more interesting, uh, maybe related to gaming. Uh, Rocket League just announced that uh, the Collegiate Rocket League Finals is going to be at the NCAA Final Four Fest thing. So I might talk about that and how that's maybe making college esports a thing and stuff. I, I don't know. Maybe that's my next topic. But anyway, uh, again, enjoy. <laughs> Let's actually get started this time. What is up guys, Cajun here, and today um, we had some uh, pretty interesting developments in the world of sports. Um, the Alliance of American Football started their inaugural season Saturday. Uh, there's only eight teams, so there's four games per week. There was two Saturday, two Sunday, and uh, I didn't get to see the one Sunday, um, but it was... The, the Saturday games were pretty good. Um, basically what the AAF is, is uh, kind of like a minor league. So like in baseball, you have triple-A baseball, double-A baseball, single-A baseball. Um, hockey, you have a minor league in hockey. The uh, the G League in, um, in basketball, or in the NBA. I can't remember if there's still the D League. But it's either the G or the D League now. Um, and yeah, it, it's kind of like that. It's kind of a developmental league uh, for players that, you know, want to try and get back into the NFL. Because there's been, there's been tries before at something like that. But there's never been something that has worked. Um, so ho hopefully, you know, this is being run by a lot of former NFL players. Uh, Heinz Ward and Troy Palomalu are, are, you know, uh, working on it as well as a couple of other uh, former football players there. Uh, I know uh, Heinz Ward and Troy Palomalu are, like, heads of player development and player, uh, like, uh, I can't remember. But, um, but yeah, it, it, it was interesting, and um, there's a lot of different rules. Uh, for example, there's no kickoffs. There, you can only rush four people on defense. So if five people try to go for the quarterback, that's an illegal defense, and that's a 15-yard penalty. Um, and regardless of what you might think for that, that's not safety. Uh, or that's not for safety, uh, because, oh my god... There is some hitting in this league, at least for the quarterback. Um, quarterbacks are getting hit. Um, there was one play where dude got his helmet knocked off. There was another one later in the game. Same guy just got pummeled. Gets up and walks away just fine. Uh, that was Matt Sims that, that got hit like that. I'm trying to put a, a, a clip of the play there. One-on-one, -on -one, picks up the first down. Barkovici never saw the man coming, and he is lit up. My goodness. Sean Washington with the stick. This has been the issue with Berkovici. Awareness and ball security when pressure comes in the pocket. Wow, he was completely blindsided. He had no idea. Hmm. Well, Washington put a, put together a heck of a game a week ago or two weeks ago in the practice game. But, like, it, it's just, it's so funny um, 
that like it, 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 it was so not funny but it was so good to see that um in a football game like someone actually get hit not have a penalty called on them um and so yeah um it, it, it's very interesting to see like i said there's eight teams four in each division I don't know how playoffs are going to work. I think it's a 10-week season or an 8-week season. Um, so it, it, it gives us quite a bit of time to uh, give us a little bit more football while the NFL is out uh, in the off offseason. Um, there's a couple of other things. Uh, f- since there's no kickoffs, you have to go for like a 4th and 12 play to get an onside kick. Um, you start from your own 25, go into the other side of the field to get a touchdown. So it's basically, they basically just give you a touchback. Um, there's no extra points. So if you score a touchdown, you have to go for two. Um, let's see. There is, and, and I like how they're doing like the replay officiating, um, it, it, it's kind of it's pretty much the same thing uh, as the NFL, um, but like for uh, there were a couple calls where they needed to see if it was a catch, and so what they did is they went to the replay official up in the booth, and they had uh, I know one game it was a, a woman they had her mic'd up and she was you know going through and talking about the process and I thought that was pretty cool. Also the coaches are mic'd up, some of the players are mic'd up. Um, and they'll get turned on every now and then, um, and, and, and stuff like that, um, uh, also, there is a, there's a sky judge, which is a referee that's just, I guess, in the press box, um, that if he decides, oh, hey, that should have been a penalty, but y'all didn't call it, Um, he can call it, um, coincidentally, um, that was, that, that, that's great seeing, um, what happened in the NFC championship and then consequently with the Super Bowl being as boring as it was, but yeah, I thought, I thought, I think that's pretty cool too, to have that, that second opinion, um, of someone there that might see something different uh, from t- from the top rather than on the field. Um, also, uh, I mean, let's talk about how many how the viewership numbers were. Uh, Two point nine million viewers for CBS opener. Uh, so it it previewed on CBS. There were a lot of big plays, a lot of amazing catches, um, a lot of amazing running. Um, um, Orlando had a, oh my God, their defense was so amazing. Uh, but I think that was, that was also Atlanta's O-line wasn't, um, wasn't up to, to par. Um, but yeah, we had, we had a good number of games and uh, good scores, uh, throughout the league. I, I was, it was, it, it was interesting. I, I enjoyed it. Um, and um, it, it 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 didn't feel like the NFL, which it's not supposed to, but it, it was great. Oh my God, Memphis just got destroyed. So anyway, um, I'm I'm gonna and and there's there's a lot of players that were in the NFL that aren't that are looking for a second chance and this is this is perfect for them uh people like trent richardson he was a a running back at alabama i believe um and i can't remember where he was drafted but like he didn't really do much so now he has this chance to to get better and maybe make it back into the nfl hopefully um so yeah uh Three million viewers for the first two games is pretty good. Um, I, I, like I said, I, hello, can we mute this tab? Hello, thank you. Um, you know, I enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't talked to my dad, but he was watching it. 
he 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 was interested in it. My roommate enjoyed it, and I mean, it's it's something to hold us over until the NFL kind of sort of comes back. Um, apparently, there is going to be uh, five years worth of this. They're investing a lot of money into this. Um, I, I think my roommate said like five hundred million dollars over five years, or seven hundred million dollars over five years. So it, it's going to be interesting to see, especially from this first week and how people enjoyed it, to uh, see how it grows over the next four or well after this four years. Um, but uh, we had two close games, or relatively close games. Um, Saturday, uh, Orlando Apollos versus Atlanta Legends. That's the game we caught. Um, these two games were playing at the same time, so it depended on where you were living, where you got them. Uh, me and my roommate got the Orlando Ad Atlanta game, and Atlanta was just, oh boy. Um, and and also, there there's a lot of stuff you can do. Okay, for example, defense. You can only rush four people, so a lot of these players, you know, are like. They, 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 a lot of these players are still getting used to the rules, still being like, oh, even though I, can, you know, I see that, you know, I'm reading the offense and I know this is gonna happen, I can't rush because that'd be an illegal defense. That's a 15 yard penalty. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens once everyone is more familiar with the rules. And all these teams have only had really a month to prepare. So, um, again. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. But Orlando, uh, 40, Atlanta, 6. So, um, Young Way Koo, I believe was his name. The kicker for Atlanta got the first points in the league. Um, and, well, the only points for Atlanta. Oof. Um, and then, um, I can't remember. I think Jalen Mitchell got the first touchdown for the um for the league thrown by Garrett Gilbert I think was the quarterback's name I really can't remember so if I'm getting these wrong rip I'm sorry but um the second game of Saturday was the San Antonio Commanders versus the San Diego Fleet 15 to 6 so that was a pretty close the game uh, like I said, I couldn't catch that one. Sunday, uh, the Birmingham Iron 26, Memphis Express 0, uh, and then the Arizona Hot Shots 38, Salt Lake City Stallions 22. So of those games, probably Arizona at Salt Lake was the most interesting. Um, and like I said, it, it's going to be interesting to see all these teams throughout the season and see what they can do. But yeah, I just wanted to get my thoughts on... Um, on how 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 this went because, um, you know it it was it was great, um, you know, uh, I I really enjoyed the just the pacing and um, you know especially the the hitting did the tackles being able to tackle the quarterback you know um that was great um you know it it, it just it looked like it's gonna be good especially once these teams you know maybe this year won't be the 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 high point and the the you know the best we see from these teams but give it a year or two and it is definitely going to rival, uh, maybe not the NFL, it's, it's probably not going to rival the NFL, <laughs> I'll just say that, but it's definitely going to be a better league than it is right now, so yeah, if, if y'all want to watch, it'll be on CBS uh, next week, I think, and NFL Network, um, or you can download the app, and I believe you could watch it uh, from there. Oh, and I, I can't believe I forgot this. Another interesting thing about it is that it, the, in the app, there's like a game 
where you can try and guess what play they're going to run, and you get certain amounts of XP for if you choose the right plays, stuff like that. I think that is very interesting, too. It's it's very still in, it, it, like, it's really, really still in development, um, and very, very uh, weird right now, but I'm sure once they... Once they figure it out, it, it's going to be definitely really cool. So um, if you watch the AAF uh, games this weekend, let me know what you think. For those that were expecting maybe uh, something about gaming, um, I'll probably put out a video tomorrow or Wednesday to satisfy you guys. Uh, part 2 of Stardew Valley, probably going to come out to, uh, tomorrow. Um so yeah, I'll I'll see what happens. But anyway guys, uh that's the video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.